Copying and pasting features. Here I have a feature, this block that's an extrusion. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say copy. And then I'm going to right click on it and say paste. It brings up the paste features dialog box. In here I can say where do I want to place it? I'm going to place it on the selected uh, plane. And my parameters are independent or, or de uh, dependent. I want it independent. So it's, it's its own item. And right now it floats out here and I can pick it on any plane that I want. I can hover and pick it on whatever plane I like. So uh, I'm going to uh, pick it over here on this plane. And you can see then uh, that I get these little arrows. I can move it in a direction by picking on the left arrow, uh, picking with your left mouse button on a direction you want to go, on an arrow you want it to go, and then picking and placing it. I can also grab it and spin it around. So I can place it, and once I've got there, I can hit refresh, and then I can hit finish, and it'll place it on that particular. Uh, likewise, I'll do that again. I'll come up here and say copy. I can right click and say paste. And it'll put a temporary. I can pick on here wherever I want. Pick on the direction I want it to go. And I can rotate it. And then I can uh, hit finish. And it will place that feature on, on that particular plane. So um, copying and pasting f uh, features, uh, we can select what uh, plane we want to go on. We can actually select it to go on any particular plane such as this as well, or any work plane. We could place it on a work plane as well by, by picking uh, that plane. Uh, so we can create one feature and copy it all over our particular item uh, as needed.